Hi, welcome to this episode of The Daily. My name is Brendan Malone. Well, last week in the newspapers, there was an article about the fact that the New Zealand Ministry of Education is not going to make it a requirement for students in this country to study the New Zealand land wars. It's not going to be a compulsory required part of the curriculum. And when I read this, I was two, two emotions. I was, I, was, uh, I was quite sad about this, and I was also a little bit annoyed. Um, I think about my own children and uh, what I would like them to learn and what I think is important. And I think about the country in a wider context. I think one of the most fundamental things to any sort of uh, thriving and flourishing country is if its citizens are actually aware of particularly their own history. I think also the broader uh, world history is important too. But I think it is important to know and understand your own history, particularly those important moments. And the land wars, I think, without a doubt, are an important part of our history that we should be studying in our schools. This sort of comes closely behind a decision, I think it was last year or the year before it was announced, that it was not going to be a compulsory requirement for students to study Shakespeare in the New Zealand curriculum. Well, that's another decision I, I disagree with. It's it's not about thinking Shakespeare is you know highfalutin stuff that we all should be studying. Instead, it's about the important role that Shakespeare has played and Shakespearean writing has played in the development of the modern West and in language and other things and, and art and everything else. It's, it, Shakespeare is actually quite an important cornerstone of, of our culture. And I think it's important to understand that and to at least be aware of it. I remember I went to a state high school, which was not a particularly high decile state high school. Uh, but even in, in my high school English classes, I remember we read and studied the plays of Shakespeare. And although at times for me that was actually difficult and I didn't always get into it and enjoy it as much as other stuff, it was still hugely important. And I think I'm grateful for the fact that I had that I was at the very least was exposed to it. And I think that when we start stripping out a lot of these important things from our curriculum, um, I think we're actually robbing young people of something important here. And we are starting to handicap ourselves, cut ourselves off at the knee a little bit as a culture. I think the more we can know about ourselves, the more we know about our culture, the more we understand about history, about our development and those key things that that factor into who we are, the more well-rounded we can be. And also, I think the more likely it is that if people truly believe there are mistakes in our past, that we can begin to correct those things. That doesn't happen by pretending those things are not there or stripping them out of the curriculum or replacing them with things that perhaps just don't carry as much meaning and profundity and, and depth. Uh, and look, and I, I don't think this is a matter of teachers not wanting to do the best by their students. We've seen this really big push for the computerization of classrooms and bringing new technology in and finding new learning methods, and that's all good and well. But I think a, an important part of good learning is what students are being taught. And I think the land wars, and I also think Shakespeare, are two important things that shouldn't be sacrificed in that process. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily.